Hello, it's me again. It is midday on the first day of Nearly Charged. Um, so this is following on from earlier where I had the high cell disconnecty thingamajiggy. So the left bank is charging with 5.3 amps, nothing hairy scary. Fifty five millivolts of cell deviation, but nothing's over the three point four five threshold yet. Number fifteen's close to it. So that might uh, start to balance in a second or so. And over to the right bank, which was the one that was alarming out. So that's showing uh, zero amps going in. We've added a lot high cell disconnect. Uh, cell number nine is at 3.512. So that'll cut back in in a minute. It's balancing at two amps. Cell deviation of 161 millivolts. So with only five amps going into one side, I would say that the inverters reached float voltage. So I'm a little unsure of that because my float voltage is a set of 55 volts. So I've got one side of 54.7 now, 54.7. And 53.7, so I've got nearly a full volt of delta now from side to side. So that'll be interesting to see what happens to the old inrush current now. We've got a full volt side to side. What I might do is I might, uh, I might do like I did with the Dali Active Balancer with its initial... Uh, with its initial maintenance balances, I uh, turned the charge off or right the way down to the two amps and just let it sit and let it sort itself out and then tickle it up. So just about to get in rush current 3.502 on cell 9. Forty odd, forty odd amps, and then we quickly calm down, and simmer down with a two hundred millivolt difference. So I'm going to go in because I don't like that voltage delta from side to side. So I shall turn the inverter right the way down to 2 amps of charge current. Come on. And the left bank doesn't register the two amp charge. The cell voltages are starting to drop, so I don't think they're fully absorbed. Yeah, as Andy would say, the voltage isn't fully absorbed. I don't think it's sticking yet. See how quickly that ticks down.
so the uh, voltage is on the oh don't start having a freak out every now and again the screen gets a bit bit greasy and has a bit of a freak out um, so the cell sorry the voltage the overall pack voltage and the cell voltage is dropping on the left bank um, so they're not fully absorbed yet <coughs> And, and, and with the clamp meter, I am showing that I'm charged, got, I've got an amp flowing into that battery. And nothing flowing into the other one. So there or thereabouts, cheap Chinese multimeter. So I'll just let that sit and simmer down from side to side. Try and uh, let side to side balance out a little bit. Because I don't like the look of that 40 amps chopping from side to side. Even though with these 280 ampere hour cells, that's still a very, very low C rate. Uh, well within limits but I'll just give it a chance to do um, a nice maintenance balance charge and we'll see how it goes I'll go over so the cell voltage on the left bank is uh, still slowly ticking down And I'll go on to the other, the right bank with the problem child of cell number nine. Nearly there to the 3.5 volt. Uh, cut back in the recovery voltage. So it'd be interesting to see now that there's not a massive uh, delta in the voltage, the difference from side to side. It'll be interesting to see how many amps flow from one side to the other um, but I shall still let this sit and let the balancer take care of cell number nine get that down to below the threshold of the 3.45 shouldn't be too long Shouldn't be too long. Hold the line, please, caller. Come on. Longest minute ever. Come on. It's like waiting for Christmas. Oh, don't go back up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. Five oh two. Come on, you can do it. Last little bit. 501, come on. And then we'll let these people get on. So that's the charging circuit back open. There was nothing, nothing flowing from side to side at all. Neither of them are recognising the two amps coming from the inverter well this side says got 0.8 of an amp leaving this side so it's probably below the threshold of being able to recognize anything 
Um, I'll let the balancer do its thing for a little bit. And then I'll give it another charge. And then let it sit, let the balancer do a little bit. And then another little charge. So it's going to be tedious. But we'll get there. The only other thing I might do is the tumble dryer might need a run in a minute. So I might fire up that, take a chunk out, let it charge back up. That is the other option, is to just keep topping it up, take a little chunk out, top it back up, take a chunk out. Don't quite know what's the quickest way of doing, like forcing it into a, into a maintenance top balance, but well, there it goes. Cheers for now.